Welcome back to the cruise world. Today we are taking a tour of one of the biggest cruise ships in the world, Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. The cruise world YouTube channel is the place for ship tours, vlogs, tips, parodies, and a whole lot more. So if you love cruising, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on. Harmony of the Seas was built by FTX France at Chantiers d'Atlantique Shipyard in Saint Nazaire, France, and made her maiden voyage on May 29, 2016. With a gross tonnage of just under 227,000, Harmony of the Seas is the third largest cruise ship in the world, has a maximum passenger capacity of 7,029 and 2,175 crew members. Harmony has a total of 18 decks, but today we're going to focus on the public areas of the ship, so we'll start on Deck 3. Here at the aft or rear of Deck 3, you'll find the lower level of Harmony's main dining room, American Icon Grill. And the dining room extends up to Decks 4 and 5 with the Grand Restaurant and Silk. The main dining room is where you can go daily for breakfast, lunch, or dinner with a rotating menu. At the forward or front of Deck 3, there's a conference center that can be used for special events. Up to Deck 4 and just outside the MDR on the port side is where you'll find Izumi, the hottest sushi spot at sea for an exotic Asian-inspired dining experience. Moving forward, we enter Casino Royale, and if you love to gamble, consider this your little slice of Vegas at sea, with all your favorite slots and table games and endless opportunities to win big. And with a full bar right in the middle of all the action, you'll never go thirsty. Smoking is allowed on the starboard side of the casino, while here on the port side, smoking is not allowed. Continuing on, we will pass through the onboard art gallery. You can just admire the works, or if you're so inclined, drop in at one of Park West's art auctions and bid on a masterpiece of your own. As we continue down this hallway, we're heading towards the entertainment place, and our first stop is Studio B. This multi-purpose area has seating for up to 900 guests, and it's here where you can hit the ice with your family and friends, or sit back and be amazed by the talented onboard performers. On our right is the Diamond Club, where Royals loyal diamond level and above can eat, drink, and enjoy concierge access. And on our left is the Attic. If you love to laugh, drink, and have a good time, this is your spot. From headliner comedians to fun interactive game shows, the attic is always a good time. Next on our right is Jazz on 4, but the only music currently in this space is the sound of the slot machines. Last but definitely not least is the Royal Theater, home of the greatest shows at sea, where you can see an amazing array of shows and performers that are all included in your cruise fare. The Royal Theatre spans decks four through six, so now we'll backtrack to the staircase and head up to deck five and enter the Royal Promenade. This is the main thoroughfare of the Harmony of the Seas, extending up to deck eight. It's full of bars, restaurants, shopping, and entertainment. The first thing we see here is Boleros, a Latin-themed club serving up your favorite drinks and Latin sounds. In the middle is the shore excursions area, and over on the port side is On Air, where in addition to family and adult karaoke nightly, you can participate in trivia contests and challenges. I did mention shopping, right? In fact, this area really reminds me of a mall with shops like Solera Beauty, Prince and Green, Port Merchants, Kate Spade, and more. On our left, we have Sorrento's, one of our favorite spots, where you can grab a slice of pizza for lunch, dinner, or a late night snack, and across from Sorrento's is an English-style pub called Boot and Bonnet. On our left is Next Cruise, and many people don't realize that one of the best times to book a cruise is when you're on a cruise. But if you're interested in booking Harmony of the Seas or any other ship, you can email or call us today. You can't miss the Jaguar convertible that sits right in front of Cafe Promenade. When it comes to quick and easy come and go eats, this will be your go-to place. And it's not here right now, but here in the center of the promenade is the sometimes home of the Rising Tide Bar that moves between decks five and eight while you relax and sip your favorite drinks. Now we're at guest services, and these are the folks that will handle any requests or issues that may arise during your cruise. 
Right next door is another shopping venue, Regalia Fine Jewelers, and back across the promenade is one of the most popular bars on board, the Bionic Bar, with two robotic bartenders who really know how to shake, stir, and mix it up. Here just before the elevators are the port and shopping and Voom internet desk. And as we mentioned earlier, at the aft of Deck 5 is Silk, the top level of the main dining room. Also here on Deck 5 is the two-lane covered jogging track as well as the spa, but the access to that is up on 6, so that's where we're headed now. The aft of Deck 6 is home to the Aqua Theater, where you will be entertained by the talented performers at two unique Aqua shows. You'll also see the rock climbing walls on each side of the theater, which are technically on deck seven, but are accessed from the stairways here on deck six. Also dominating the scene here at the rear of the boardwalk are the spiraling purple tubes of the ultimate abyss, as the exit for the 10 story slide is located right here. On our right is Johnny Rockets, where they're serving up burgers, fries, and shakes in a cool retro atmosphere. And on the port side is Sabor, a modern Mexican restaurant. Right next to Sabor is the shop, where you can grab some Royal Caribbean merch. And across the boardwalk is the first of two onboard arcades. Now I know you coffee lovers saw what's next, and that's Starbucks, where you can grab all your favorite beverages you've come to love and right outside, the carousel will spin you around and around. Moving along, we'll pass two more shops, sundials, and design district as we come to the dog house where you can choose your bun, choose your dog, and top it off with your favorite condiments. As we exit the boardwalk and continue moving forward on deck six, we re-enter the promenade area. Here on deck six port side is the loyalty desk and the schooner bar. During the day, you might find a round of trivia being played here, but in the evening, the drinks will be flowing, as well as live piano music and band performances from a stage overlooking the promenade. Back on the starboard side is the Focus Photo Gallery, and there's a ton of monitors here where you can check out all the photos that the Royal Caribbean pros have been taking of your vacation. And this is also home to the Picture This Photo Studio. Now we'll jump up to deck six forward to the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Area. As we enter, there's the Vitality Cafe on our right, and to the left is the Salon and Barber Shop. As we move forward, we'll stay to the left, moving towards the forward of the ship and the state-of-the-art fitness center that offers the latest cardiovascular and weight training machines, as well as fitness classes and personal training. Now, remember earlier I mentioned that the spa was on deck five, but we access it here on the starboard side by taking this staircase down to access the thermal area and massage rooms. Up to deck eight, and this has to be one of the coolest things that we've ever seen on a cruise ship, and that's the Central Park neighborhood. As we enter the park, over on the right is the Bulgari store, while here on our left is Vintage's Wine Bar, where you'll find all your favorite reds, whites, and rosés. And right next door is Jamie's Italian, with Tuscan-inspired cuisine crafted by famous chef Jamie Oliver. Now we're entering the center of the park, where in the evenings you'll often hear live music, and next up is the Park Cafe, a great spot for breakfast and lunch and home of the legendary Royal Kumawek Roast Beef Sandwich, which is a favorite of mine and many other cruisers. Now we'll pass by the Trellis Bar, a great place to sit, sip, and people watch while listening to the soothing sounds of the garden. And here in the center, you'll see the final decade home of the Rising Tide Bar. Here on our left is 150 Central Park, a dining experience spotlighting locally sourced ingredients harvested at the peak of their season. And last but not least here in the park is the classic American steakhouse, Chops Grill, where the chefs will hand cut, season, and grill your steak to perfection. Back inside and moving towards the aft of deck eight and extending up to deck nine is Dazzles, where you can dance the night away or just sit back and relax with a cocktail while enjoying live music and a view of the boardwalk below. Decks 9 through 12 are reserved for staterooms, except for a special place at the rear of Deck 12, and that's Wonderland. This amazing restaurant offers a unique dining experience with dishes based on the natural elements earth, sea, fire, ice, and sun. 
Up one level to deck 14 and just above Wonderland, you'll find the card room Seven of Hearts. This quiet space offers plenty of tables for playing cards or board games with family and friends. Now up to 14 forward and here on the right is the Puzzle Break Escape Room where you can have fun working together with other passengers to find hidden clues, solve riddles and beat the clock. Just forward of Puzzle Break is Adventure Ocean. This colorful space has separate areas for babies 6 to 36 months, juniors aged 3 to 5 and kids 6 to 12 years old as well as a parent supervised play place, a workshop, and the Adventure Ocean Theater for talent shows, games, and performances. All the way forward on deck 14 and continuing up to deck 16 is the multi-level aged 16 and up solarium. This space offers sun and serenity with soothing whirlpools, warm sunshine, cold drinks, and amazing views. Staying here at the solarium and moving up to deck 15, you can see there are plenty of areas to relax and soak away the day. And here in the center is the solarium bistro, where you can enjoy fresh Mediterranean flavors for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As we exit the solarium on the port side, you'll find this large covered whirlpool with televisions mounted above. And there's also one of these over on the starboard side as well. Continuing on towards the open air decks where the sun and fun is at, we come to the perfect storm water slides which exit on both sides of the ship. Next up here on the port side is the main pool. And here on the starboard side is the beach pool. On our left is the towel station and on our right is the sandbar. And we continue towards the rear of the ship and find Splash Away Bay, Harmony's kid-friendly water park. Now we'll hop back over to the port side where we find the pool bar and just past that we find the sports pool. And one thing that I think you'll notice is that all of these pool areas here on deck 15 have lots of seating options both in and out of the sun. Next up is the Paddy Five Star Dive Center where you can earn your scuba certification while on board your cruise. Behind this orange area right here on the port side and as well on the starboard side is the Sprinkles Soft Serve Station, which is very popular. And as we continue towards the sports area, just inside to our left are three areas exclusively for the teen cruisers, the living room and back deck hangout spots, as well as the Fuel Teen Disco. There's plenty of family friendly fun to be had right here at the Nine Hole Harmony Dunes mini golf course. And if it's thrills you seek, you can soar high above the boardwalk on the zip line. The thrills continue as we step up to deck 16 aft in the home of the two Flow Rider Surf Simulators, one on each side of the ship. And remember way down on deck six where we saw the exit for the Ultimate Abyss? Well, this is where that ride starts, but don't worry, you'll be back down on the boardwalk in no time. The Wipeout Bar is located right here in the center of all the action to keep you refreshed and the seating here provides great views of the ocean. On our left, we're approaching the sports court where you can play basketball, dodgeball, and one of the fastest growing sports, pickleball. And just in front of the sports court, there are also some enclosed ping pong table areas so the wind won't affect your game. Now you're bound to work up an appetite while you're hard at play, but Harmony has you covered with mini bites. And this is where you can grab some food and drinks quickly so you can get back in the game. 
If eSports are more your thing, just inside past the second sprinkles machine here is another arcade full of games. Up to deck 16 in the Windjammer Cafe, this buffet-style restaurant is your go-to for self-serve meals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, featuring a rotating menu of global flavors. The Windjammer wraps around both sides of the ship to accommodate a large number of passengers. If you want more information or are ready to book the Harmony or any other cruise ship, please contact us at thecruiseworldtravel at gmail.com. To stay connected and interact with the cruise community, join our Facebook group. The information and links are down in the description. Now we're back outside and heading towards the forward of the ship on deck 16 and we get a great view of Splashaway Bay and the sports pool below. And you'll notice that there's plenty of seating here for those that love to soak up the sun. As we cross back over to the port side here at midship, we get a good look at the beach pool, Central Park, the slides, and the main pool. On our left is the mast bar, and you'll find a lot more seating options here as we move along the port side towards the entrance to the suite deck, an exclusive area for guests booked in suites on board. And as we arrive back at the forward here on deck 16, we re-enter the solarium where you'll find ample seating, the solarium bar, and of course, more great views. Deck 17 is exclusively for suite guests and Pinnacle Club members, and it's where you'll find the suite lounge, coastal kitchen restaurant, and the suite sun deck. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas, and if you did, please smash that thumbs up button. If you've sailed on this amazing ship, let us know what your favorite things are down in the comments. If you're ready to book your next cruise, email us or give us a call. All the info is in the description below. We'd love for you to share this video with your family and friends and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the cruise content. And next up, check out the biggest ship in the world, Wonder of the Seas. As always, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. We'll see you soon.